Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and we are just off this island over here in a completely new spot. I did do some, I actually did some recording, and I didn't really like the way it turned out, so I'm basically doing this again, but I wish I liked the rest of it, because honestly, I did pretty good. Let me show you what's in my inventory here. Go back to Fish Storage. I caught yet another unique giant trevally, and I caught something called, well, two just regular giant trevallies, and something called a narrow barred mackerel. And I managed to complete uh, another one of the exploration fish, the trophy Japanese jack mackerel. Let's take a look at these guys, because unfortunately, I can't show you the footage, but this is a little fish, just under a pound. In fact, I think you can use these guys as bait. I might even have some in my storage. I'm not sure. But here's the other one. The narrow barred mackerel. That's another new one that I have not seen yet. Looks like it has tiger stripes. Interesting looking fish. It's got to be part of the same family as the tuna. Because it's got those little... Little... Uh, Finlets or something. I'm not sure what they're called exactly, but but it has some teeth on it too. A lot of these guys have some serious teeth. But yeah, two unique giant prevailies. Look at the cash here. Eleven thousand no, eleven hundred and twelve thousand ninety seven dollars. I mean one hundred and twelve thousand and ninety seven dollars. That's pretty darn good for just the first day. So in game yeah I bet if you keep at it and get better at it you could easily pull two three hundred thousand dollars a day in the game so this is definitely a, a cash maker and a XP maker let's see how much XP does it tell me how much XP I have let's see and not really just tells you the weight it's still only like 661 pounds this boat can hold 4,000 pounds of fish so you can catch a lot of fish now one of the other things I wanted to show you here if you notice the sonar over here I didn't notice this in the first episode but you can see not only the you don't necessarily have to look at the sonar in the middle this one over here on the right the whole field in this area is loaded with fish so this is a really good spot I'm going to take a look at the map here. I'm not sure if my last marker was here, but I did find out that what the nautical markers can do is allow you to fast travel to places. So that could come in quite useful. In fact, I might go ahead. What is this? Oh, that's the one I put from before. Yeah, I think I might go ahead and put a nautical marker here. Well, I didn't actually fast travel. Wait a minute, did I? Oh. Yep. Nope, it actually placed it. It's right here. So now, whenever I want to, I can just travel here and fish, knowing this is a good spot. All right, let's go ahead and get down here because we need to catch some more fish. I'm not sure how well we're going to do, though, because the peak is ending. Now, I've got this is my bottom rod. I th yeah, this is my bottom rod. 
I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there and see how we do. It's been pretty darn productive. I will say, will say that so far. But yeah, there's some definitely some learning curves going on here. One of the things that I ran into in the first episode is I burned up a reel. And that was simply because I had a limited amount of time to throw my gear together. And I was trying to... I just didn't pay enough attention. I should have made certain that my line was not stronger than my reel. That was a boneheaded mistake. Mainly because I just was too excited to get in here and start playing. That's really what it boils down to. Well, let me go ahead and put that there and we'll see if anything bites. With this going out of the peak here, are you serious? That fast? Wow. <laughs> okay. That's not bad. Let's see what we can get here, guys. Yeah, this may be a giant Trevely hotspot. Yet another one. So that other location I was at on the other side of the island was really good for that, too. Yeah, I think we might have us another... No! A trophy narrow-barred mackerel, that one I showed you earlier. That the stripes, this is a trophy one. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm so seriously glad I got that one. That's going to look so cool to hold it. Yep, there he is. Oh, he's big. 88.145 pounds. 80.7 inches. Jeez. That's a nice fish. I love the stripes. I mean, they really do look like tiger stripes. Look at those choppers. I wouldn't want to put my hand in there. <laughs> Let me get a picture of him because he's picture worthy. All right. Well, we'll keep him. 9,518 cash. Definitely worthwhile. Yeah, these scaled sardines, they're really biting well off of this. Let's see. Let me throw this one out a little bit further. And the float rods are working pretty good, too. One of the nice things, though, is over on this side, the waves don't seem to be quite so strong. So it's a little easier to see your bobber. Let's see. I think it was... Four? No. Three. Yep. Now this one I've got Japanese flying squid with a saltwater curved hook. Eight aught. I've got a waggler on this. I'm trying to remember which waggler I've got. Yeah, I've got a waggler X heavy. Got it all the way out. I've got it up to 205 inches. So we're going deep. And this is using the equator match, so it only goes up to 83.8 pounds. I don't have a match rod that goes over 100 pounds. At least I don't have the cash to, to buy one yet, but in the future I will. But there's plenty of things this can still catch, that's for darn sure. I've And I've actually got this geared up correctly, so won't have any incidents like last time. I love that lighthouse out there, it's beautiful. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll throw that one out here and we'll put that in a second rod holder. And I'm going to get out my fifth rod here. This one I've got sea worms on and a real small hook because I am really wanting to finish that exploration mission if I can. I'm trying to find out here. I think the anchovies go for... Yeah, they do go for sea worms. I still need... What was it? Striped Benito. That's what I need. 
and Japanese anchovy, and this thing is just not going to give me a time to even do much more but pull fish in. Lord. Yep, he's definitely on it. Another good size one. Yeah, this is definitely a place to grind fish. Let's see what we got this time. Oh, a trophy Japanese amberjack. Another one, and it's a new personal record. Trophy Japanese amberjack. See, we, the one we got in the first episode was a greater amberjack. Now, he's not worth as much, and he's not nearly as big. 41 pounds. Let's take a look at this fellow. Yeah, see, he's nowhere near as big as that other one, but... Yeah, you know, <laughs> not nearly as big. This is a small fish, 41 pounds. That's, it's still a good-sized fish, without a doubt. That's the first one of the trophy Japanese amberjacks, or the Japanese amberjacks in general. I'm glad that we're getting different species, and that's all the same thing. All right, let's see here. We'll keep him. Yeah, 4,460... 1497 XP gained. Ooh, and I completed a mission here. I got the Kaji no Ri Exploration 2. I didn't even know I was competing in it. <laughs> oh, cool, and I got a single hook pilker. Yeah, I don't I don't have any pilkers. You have to have a lot of cash. And I got 40,000 cash and a bay coin out of that. Yeah, I've heard the pilkers are supposed to be really good to use for trolling. I'm definitely going to have to give those a try now that I've got one. Yeah, since I had a strike timed out, I might need to check this to see if I have any bait. Probably got my bait. I wonder if I can put a bell on this too. Might not be a bad idea. Get distracted here. Let's see. Can you put a bell on this? No. No, no bells. You just have to be keeping an eye out. But yeah, he got my bait. He did get my bait. That's all right. It's all good. Now let's see if we could try something a little different. We've been doing really well with the scaled sardines. Let's see if we can try something new here. Uh, the gutted fish. That's supposed to be one that the grouper really like. And these large fish strips have got let's see, the gutted shrimp shark oh, probably the bull shark on the Amazonian so the gutted fish, grouper, shark big catfish, beluga Japanese anchovies, small tuna, Japanese amberjack, striped bonito Hmm, that might be worth... And the Mahi Mahi. This one strictly targets Grouper. The Japanese Spiny Lobster. Tuna Marlin, Greater Amberjack, Giant Trevally, Ruby Snapper, Mahi Mahi. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to switch some stuff here. Just to see what we can get. Ruby Snapper. What's this Japanese Jack mackerel used for? Tuna marlin, greater amberjack, narrow bard. Okay, I'm trying to get something different if I can here. This ruby snapper's one I'd like to get. Well, let's try that. 
large fish strips. Of course, I don't even know if this is where they're found. They're not an exceptionally huge fish, I believe. And I do believe we have something on our second rod here. Without a doubt. At that time, I saw it. Yeah, the Japanese flying squid is a pretty good bait. Oh my gosh, I got another one here. Japanese amberjack, regular size. All right, let's put this away. We are going to see what we got on this one now. Boy, the ear. Fish are just biting like crazy. Okay, this one is taking it out. Let's see what we got here, guys. Okay, I don't think this is too big of a monster. I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely getting the hang of that. I'm actually glad that I did a little bit of off-screen fishing because I'm getting much better at finding them. The bottom fishing is much easier now that you know when you located them on sonar. The trolling is a little trickier yet. But I did discover that when you're trolling, you can't go any faster than 12 knots. So there's a cap on your speed for the boat. Now, when you're not trolling, you can get the boat up to 30 knots an hour. I mean, you can pretty much book around this island if you want to. Whatever this is, it's a good-sized fish. It is not coming easily. We either have a... bigger than common size, or we've got something completely new, and it's really huge. There is a spot that I want to check. That Bo Angles was talking about. Let's see what this is, guys. A trophy giant trevally. Wow. I think I've, that means I've caught every size now. I've got the unique, the trophy, and the regular. I don't think they have a young. Let me see here. How big is he compared to the unique? Yeah, not nearly as big. The unique covers your face completely. Look how big his head is. Yeah, I wonder if they're good to eat. Bet they are. Man, we are just rocking this, guys. This is so fun. Let's throw this one back out. So they like the large fish strips. Try the squid again. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull out this small rod again. I didn't have a chance to throw it out there last time. Let's see if we can't get our, our anchovy. <laughs> Gotta give the little guys some love, too. Yeah, I need a Japanese anchovy and a striped bonito. Should be able to get something with this. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot easier to catch them on that other spawn point. Yeah, every now and then I need to zoom back in because 
In fact, I could just kind of keep an eye out. Because this one will... The little one I've got will ding. It will ding. This one will go start moving. And, of course, that one... <laughs> enough said, right? Okay, he's taking it out. See how big this fella is. Oh boy. And we got one on that one. Holy crap. Wow. I need to hurry up before he. Look at bend that rod. Yeah, I don't want to lose this guy. Jeez. Ah, damn it. Timed out. Oh, well. Let's see what we got on this one, then. Another dog tooth tuna. He's a good size one, though. 87 pounds. That's a 10,668 cash. He's almost trophy size, honestly. Yeah, they're the ones with the big teeth. Again, if you notice those little fins along the tail, all the tuna have that. Usually they have red flesh, too, because they're what they call, like, lukewarm-blooded. They're not warm-blooded. But they're not cold-blooded either. That's what gives them speed. I mean, they could seriously move in the water. We'll keep him. And we got another time mount. Jeez. I thought that had moved. The only problem with that is I lose my bait. <laughs> I don't like losing my bait. Okay, this is the sea worms. Yeah, this one really bent, too. Let's see, did we lose our bait? Yes, we did. Anytime it says timed out, you're pretty much guaranteed to have lost your bait. Well, we're getting a bite on here anyway. Let's see what we got. Come on. I want to be sure he's on there. Okay, he is. And this is not a big fish compared to what we have caught. Let's see what we got. Well, he's kind of a last minute give me, give me a bit of a fight. Okay, so he's a greater amberjack, regular size. So the first one I caught was a trophy. So now I've caught regular size or common size. Yeah, see he's... He's about the size of a Japan trophy Japanese amberjack. Almost exactly the same size. A little bit bigger. He seems to have a bigger head. Alright, we'll keep him too. What are we up to on our... Let's see, fish storage. We've so far earned a 162,227 cash. And we are still nowhere close, but we have gone up over a thousand pounds in weight for fish, but we've only a quarter of the way of maximum capacity. 
Well, let's see here. I think what we're going to do now, guys, might do a little bit more trolling. Just for fun. But I think I'm going to switch my lure here. I want to try that pilker. Now, where would that be stored? Not there. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Well, that's interesting. It does not go on here. Maybe you have to... I see. You have to take the others off. Alright, we're going to give this a shot. Now, supposedly, these are really good lures for a variety of things. And let's get back up here. I was also told don't throw... Don't set the anchor to stop the boat just slow it down because apparently it can cause them to get off the line thank you for that i don't remember who gave that advice to me but i do want to thank you for that if i will look up the name and put it up on the screen Ooh, that is a whale way off over there wish i could zoom in can you see man? Well, I think you can, but I'm not sure how to do it up here. Let's go ahead and get this started. We will definitely be back here. But now we have a navigation buoy, and that's going to make it a lot easier. Alright, let's... I guess we'll just head this way. All right, guys, we have arrived at a location that I did see some fish down here at the bottom of the middle screen. I'm not seeing it on the right side, but I think I might go ahead and give it a try here and see what happens. It's worth a shot anyway. Go ahead and throw this out here and see if anything goes for it. Now, when I got the unique Trevally, that's exactly what I did, and it didn't take very long, honestly. So, hopefully, they're going to go for this. Alright, the guy just off the bottom here yeah I want to make sure it goes deep lift up a little bit more yeah I want it just to kind of sit right there on the bottom there alright let's see no, it's still not showing any fish. I don't, I don't know if this is going to work or not. All we can do is hope, I guess. Well, the rain is definitely new. First time I've seen it here in this particular map. Yeah, still no fish. Okay, stop. All right. We are getting a bite. Okay, that's encouraging. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be all that big, though. Whatever it is. Yeah, it's coming in pretty easy. 
A little bit of a fight there. But I think we got him. Yep, our greater amberjack. Common size. Man, we'll take the cash, that's for darn sure. Let's check and see. Still not showing any fish in the area, but they're definitely here. Well, I'll we'll just toss this out and see if we get anything else. As long as we're producing something, we might as well keep fishing for them. Definitely a beautiful spot here, guys. Now I'm going to see if I can't throw out this float rod, too. With my Japanese flying squid. And maybe we can see if we can go after those Japanese anchovies, too. Using these sea worms. I mean, it's worth a shot, you know. Just have to really watch that bobber. Okay, we're getting another bite on the bottom rod here. There we go. Okay, we have... Okay, we have something here, guys. This is... This has got some size to it. All right. Yeah, definitely some size to it. Giving us a little bit of a fight. Not sure what it might be, but... Could be another giant trevally or something like that. Yeah, the Japanese Jack Mackerel was one I decided to give another try, you know, at least another try. It's done pretty good so far. Oh, shoot, we're getting another bite on the other rod, too. And apparently we got timed out on the first rod. Man. Yeah, it means we lost the bait. Dang on it. Well, I'm not giving up on this one because whatever it is, it's giving me a pretty darn good fight. Wow, look. Well, we lost that one too. Dang, nab it. <laughs> oh, well. When it rains, it pours, doesn't it, guys? Is that usually the way it works? Now, we're almost... We almost have this one in, guys. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Come on. Let's see what we got here. Oh, cool! It's a grouper, guys. It's young, but it's still a grouper. My first one. Young and 101 pounds. 101.887 pounds. This is... Look how big this guy is. And he's a baby. <laughs> oh, man. 92.08 cash. 54.3 inches. Look at this fella. Oh, my goodness. Isn't he gorgeous? And he is just a baby. Just a baby. Well, we might have lost the other two, but it was well worth it getting to see this guy. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a picture of him. Well, that's encouraging, guys, because that means if there's young ones here, there might be bigger ones, too. Without a doubt, we're keeping him cannot get over that yeah I was going to look for um, Bo Bo Angle's giant grouper hotspot that he found in his video but this one I just kind of found on my own 
Now let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and mark that without a doubt. Let me see something here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this off to this spiny lobster, because that where is that marker? Did I put a marker here? No, I guess I didn't. Let me go ahead and put a marker there. Let's see. Where is it? It's hard to see with all the waves. There it is. Yeah, this will single out the giant grouper because that's all that's listed for this particular bait. So since we definitely found a young one, there might be bigger ones. You never know. It's worth a shot, but we lost our baits here, guys, so we might as well get them in. It was still worth it. Just to get a any kind of giant grouper was worth it. I'll lose bait every day of the week to get a giant grouper. <laughs> That's for darn sure. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw this one out here too again. I don't know if I'm going to put the other one out or not. Too much going on. Well, look at it. Here we go again. Well, we know now that it's got to be a giant grouper. That much is That much is certain. That much is certain. Because nothing else is listed for going after this bait. And whatever it is, it's much bigger than what we got before, guys. Because look at it take that line out. Holy crap. We've got us a giant grouper. And I think we got one bigger than a young one. Holy crikeys. This is awesome. This is so cool. Okay, well, this is going to be a fight. This is going to be a fight. This is not going to come easy. Well, we'll just keep at it. We'll get him in. We will get him in. We'll do what it takes. It's going to take a while. All right, guys, I am back. I have been at this for close to 10 minutes fighting this guy. I swear, I'm just finally starting to get some ground. He took it out to past 160, fought me for a long time. We're finally getting somewhere, finally. Well, sort of. <laughs> he just keeps, keep. he just keeps taking that out. I swear, he is tough I am having a time of my life guys even though my hand my wrist is starting to cramp honest to god <laughs> just like Bo Ankle said you know you're going to have some fights here without a doubt but this is definitely going to pay off I know it I know it's going to pay off this is going to be a giant grouper of some considerable size I don't know if it's gonna be a trophy or not but even the regular giant groupers are huge as we well know but we're getting there guys we're in the 20s finally sort of ish we're getting there we're getting there we've almost got him guys we're almost there almost there come on dude we got to get the gaff out and we got him. We got him. Finally. <laughs> That's a giant grouper, my friends. 27,993 cash. 225 pounds. 225.815 pounds, actually. 72.7 inches. 69.17 XP gained. This is a massive fish, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. I found this all on my own. All on my own. Pure, honest to God, luck, in my opinion, that I happened upon this location. Heck of a fight, but we got him. One of the biggest 
fish in this game. Look at this. He takes up so much room, you barely could see him all in the screen. Amazing. I'm just... That was so much fun. Let's take a look. Holy crap. Look how big this guy is. I, he covers up my whole... Almost on my whole face. He's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That was so, so worth it, guys. So worth it. Yeah, somewhere in the middle of that, I got another bite on one of my, my other rod, but... Again, it timed out, but I don't care. I do not care. I got this guy, and he is going to make everything worthwhile. Well, I got myself a picture here. Well, at least I'm trying to get some of my face in. If I can, there's not much face left here. Let me go ahead and try to get this picture. All right. We got it. Got ourselves a picture, and it is there for posterior. <laughs> oh, my God. That was wonderful. That was absolutely wonderful. We are definitely keeping him, without a doubt. Yeah, the, I think the only thing bigger is the trophy. I'm not sure if that's the biggest fish in the game. It's got to be up there because there are some other big ones. The marlin and the different types of tuna. They get pretty big too, but when we got that completed. Well, we're still working on that anyway. I'm trying to see if there's any others here. Yeah, the Kajinori bottom fish. We got to get the Job fish for that one and the Ruby snapper. I haven't seen any of those. I'm not even sure where to find them yet. And the Kaji no Ri topwater fish, the Mahi Mahi. I haven't seen those yet either. And the striped marlin. Well, we still got some missions to take on, but those were opened as well. Well, I think I'm definitely going to mark this location, guys. And yeah, actually, it looks like it's sort of close to the vicinity where Boangla's location was for his hot spot. So, I wasn't trying to get here. But his is right, right around here in this area. So, I'm a little bit to the west of that. But, obviously, this is giant grouper territory. I'm going to put a navigation buoy here so that we can get back here and try to fish for these guys again. Maybe we can get us a trophy eventually. Oh my god, that was fun. That was so much fun. I can't even get over how much fun that was. <laughs> Honestly. Let's see here. We are at, holy crap, 206,140 cash so far. We still only have 1,565 weights, so we still got only a quarter of what we can hold in our, our storage of fish. We can still do a lot more fishing, guys. Well, that was awesome, guys. Without a doubt. I think this is getting close to the end. All I know, I'm going to go ahead and check. Them. Oh, guys, I think we need to go ahead and end it here. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say... Aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.